Hi everyone, this is Namrata, and in today's video, I'll be giving you information about the characters of the classic story book, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. This book is very famous among children. Before starting the information about the characters, it's very important to know about the story and author. So I'm just going to give you information in brief. Lyman Frankbaum was born in 1856, and uh, he passed away in 1919. Was an American author known for his children's book, but particularly The Wonderful Wizard of Oz and there are many books written uh, in the Oz series. The story is about the adventure of a young girl named Dorothy Gale who arrives in the land of Oz after being swept away by a cyclone from her Kansas farmhouse. It is one of the best known classic novels in the world. So this story revolves around Dorothy. She is the main character. In this story you read, Dorothy uh, meets some strange creatures called Kalidas who have the bodies like bears and heads like tigers. So in this story when Dorothy travels with her friends to the Emerald City and she goes to the yellow brick road to meet the great wizard of Oz she encounters with Kalidas and Kalidas wanted to attack Dorothy and her friends. But Dorothy and her friends uh, faced them bravely and uh, in the last Kalidas fell into a ditch and they died. So this is how they won. So now let's meet with other characters of the story. So the next character is the Scarecrow. Dorothy finds him in a cornfield. He does not have a brain, but he is quite wise. He eventually gets brain from Oz, who also makes him the next ruler of the land. So it's a happy ending for him. He already has a brain, which he uses whenever he faces any kind of problems or issues. But he believes that he doesn't have brain because he is made of a straw. The next one is uh, Tin Man. He is also referred as Tin Woodman. He was an ordinary woodcutter named Nick Chopper. The Wicked Witch of the West put a curse on his axe so that he did not work anymore. When the enchanted axe chopped off his body parts, Nick had to replace them with tin. So in this story, the tin woodman wants to meet the great wizard of Oz to get a heart because he is made of tin. So he wants a heart to feel something. Next one is Cowardly Lion. Although he is meant to be brave, this lion always seemed scared. He doesn't realize that courage comes from facing fears and acting wisely. He accompanies Dorothy and others to the Emerald City. There Oz gives him a drink which makes him forget his fears gradually. In this story, the lion feels that he is not brave and whenever any kind of problems or situation comes, he feels that he is not brave enough and he is scared. But when he goes to the Emerald City and on the way when he is uh, with his friends, he faces the situation bravely and uh, he is a brave uh, lion. But he feels that he's not brave. That's why he wanted to meet uh, the great wizard of Oz to get bravery. All these characters are Dorothy's friends. The scarecrow, the tin woodman and the cowardly lion. So all these are accompanying uh, with Dorothy to meet the great wizard of Oz. Now, the wicked witch of the east. She doesn't have much role in this story but very important character. Why? I'm just going to tell you. She is the cruel uh, ruler of munchkin country and makes all the munchkins slaves. She eventually dies when Dorothy's house lands on her. The source of all her power, her magic shoes then pass on to Dorothy. So why she is important? Because her magic shoes go to Dorothy and her powers as well. Next one is munchkins. The munchkins are nice and friendly people who thank Dorothy when she frees them from the wicked witch. Next one is good witch of the north. The good witch of the north is a kind ruler of the Gillikin country. She places a magical protective kiss on Dorothy's forehead before she starts her journey to the Emerald City to protect her from harm. So she is a good witch and she always helps Dorothy. Next one is the Wicked Witch of the West. She rules over the entire land of Winkies with her one powerful eye. She sends an army of crows, bees and Winkies slaves to attack Dorothy and her friends. She wants Dorothy 
Dorothy's the powerful silver shoes. But she is scared of water and melts away when Dorothy throws a bucket of water at her. Next one is the Great Oz and he is a very important character because the name of the story itself is the Great Wizard of Oz. When Dorothy and her friends finally meet him, he appears in different forms as a giant head, a fairy, a ball of fire and a monster. So he meets to each person in different character. To someone he meets as giant, someone fairy, someone ball of fire, someone like monster. So he doesn't show his real face to anybody. Soon it's discovered that Oz is actually a human magician who transforms himself with tricks. So he doesn't have magical power. He is a human magician. At the end of the story he leaves the land of Oz on a hot air balloon. So this was a comic situation and I actually started laughing when I read this story. He just goes or leaves the land on a hot air balloon because everyone got to know about him that he doesn't have power, he cannot give any kind of power to anybody. But in the last whatever all the characters wanted to get everyone got it and Dorothy also goes back to her home which she wanted. I hope it was an informative video and you got the information about the characters of the great wizard of Oz. For more updates, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.